Hello. We are excited to announce that we are ready to make our first steps toward in-building activities and in-building worship. However, while we are very excited about this, we're still cautious and we're still a bit hesitant because your safety is always a primary concern. Beginning this week, we will allow small groups to begin meeting in the building during the week and also certain times on Sundays. For your group to meet in the building, you'll need to contact Melinda Burnett to reserve an available space. You may not be in your usual room based off the size of your, of your group and, and the need to physically distance, but it'll be wonderful to have you back in the building. Now each group will need to keep track of attendance so that the group leader can contact any who were exposed if a positive diagnosis of COVID-19 is discovered in someone in the group. The porticos of the church will still be available for your use. Simply reserve one of those anytime by contacting Melinda Burnett. Beginning on Sunday, September the 13th, we will, we will start allowing Sunday school classes to meet in the building either at 9.45 a.m. or 5 p.m. Again, you may not be in your usual room based off the size of your group and the need to physically distance to keep you safe. But if you want, if your class wants to meet, please contact Melinda Burnett or Suzanne Scott Trammell to reserve a space. Also, we ask that each class assess their member with their members how many wish to be in the building and, and how many wish to remain, uh, maybe through meeting through Zoom or some other off-site uh, off-site means. That's up to your class and we want you to do what your class feels safe doing at this time. And now for worship. When weather allows, we plan to continue our outdoor 8.30 service for the next while, because we know that there are many who have expressed that they're just not ready to return to in-building worship yet. Each Saturday, you'll still receive an email uh, notice telling you that the service will happen or won't happen. And, and if it will happen, we'll also include the lyrics of the songs that will be sung that day. We'll continue to launch our online worship service each Sunday at 8.30 a.m. so that you can watch in your home with, with your family. But now for, for something new. Beginning on Sunday, September the 20th, we will be offering one in-building traditional worship service each Sunday in the sanctuary at 11 a.m. Now, we're going to start limiting our attendance for that service at 150 persons. We don't know how long we'll have to limit, but for right now, we're going to limit to 150 persons. And for the first few weeks, we'll be asking for reservations through an online system that will be email, emailed to you the first of next week. When you register, you'll be saying that you plan to attend the service and how many people will be with you. And, and also, if you want to place your, your infant in a nursery or if you'll be sending your children to worship care during the service. In the sanctuaries, we will have the pews marked to allow for physical distancing. And we will also continue to reduce the service in length so that we are not in the building as long as we have typically been. We'll be using our video screen to provide some of the elements of worship and, and to help guide us through some of the parts of worship since we'll not be distributing bulletins at this point and there's not hymnals, there, there, there will not be hymnals in the pews. We also will not have children's bags uh, for the kids that come to the service yet. We will have offering plates placed at the entrances and exits of the space and will not be passing the plate during the service at this point. We do want to share with you that we have provided, uh, we, we've been able to install some air purifying technology in the HVAC system of the sanctuary and that will hopefully reduce the transmission of germs, but we know that wearing masks and physical distancing are our best bets, are our safest our safest options at this point. Now, as I said, that's, that's the traditional service that will begin on the 20th at 11. 
but our hope is to begin contemporary worship in Tyson Hall on October the 4th at 11 a.m. Uh, we will begin that service, probably limiting again the number of persons in attendance, probably to 100 persons in that space. And we look forward to being able to offer both traditional and contemporary worship again. As we safely resume in-building worship, we'll be considering the other in-building services and, and when they can resume. And we'll be looking at additional options for safe worship experiences other outdoor experiences, drive-in style worship, things of that nature as we move into the fall. Our hope is to begin children and student Sunday school classes sometime in the next month or so. However, an exact date has not been set. Our student ministries will continue to adapt their programming to safely meet the needs of our students and our preschool and elementary ministries will continue to share Sunday school resources each weekend via email. We plan to, or at least we hope to, restart Wednesday evening meals on the first Wednesday of October. The dining area may be set up differently, but the food and the fellowship will be a wonderful blessing when we're able to start that back. For now, we plan to continue to meet most of our church committees and our, our leadership teams through Zoom. And so we'll, we'll continue to be distanced for those, for those settings. But we, we feel that we've been able to successfully deal with the issues that have come along throughout this in those settings. Finally, as you know, each year in September, we offer a update on the programs and the ministries of our church. And, and we also share a more detailed bit of information around our financial, uh, our financial status, looking at the close of our fiscal year, uh, which you know closed on June 30th. Well, this year on Sunday, September the 20th, we will email this update out to the congregation. It'll be a video that can be watched through a link in the email that we send, and we'll also place that link in the notes on September 24th. We want to be sure that everyone who wants to see it can. I want to close by sharing with you what we are calling our safety covenant. As we're, as we're making these changes, as we're returning to in-person, in-building events, I want to share with you what we're calling our safety covenant. We will wear masks. We will love each other enough not to give hugs, shake hands, or, or fist bumps. We will wash our hands often. We will enter and leave quickly. We won't linger or, or group up along the way. We'll not attend anything in building or in person if we're experiencing a, a fever, cough, chills, shortness of breath, difficulty breathing, muscle or body aches, headaches, loss of smell and or taste, sore throat, congestion, runny nose, tingling in the fingers and or toes, na nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, all of those symptoms of COVID-19. We will understand that some people are immune compromised and some have pre-existing conditions. And while we might not personally face those issues, we will respect them and we will love them as we love ourselves and we will work to keep them safe. And we will be patient and we'll be understanding and we will know that everyone is trying and doing their best in this new world in which we live. I tell you, I can't wait for September 20th and, and the opportunity to worship in this space again. I look forward to those who are able to join us that day. But I'll, I'm also thrilled every day to be a part of this wonderful congregation. That though everything changed and, and everything became different, all of a sudden, overnight it felt like, you as a congregation, you as the body of Christ, have continued to do ministry day in and day out. To be the people that God has called you to be. To do the things that God has called you to do. And you are making a tremendous difference in this community and in this world. So as always, it is an honor to be your pastor. It's an honor to be in ministry with each of you. 
And I can't wait to see what God will do in and through this church in the days and years to come. Thank you. Thank you.